Hi you guys, welcome to a new weekly vlog on my channel. My name is Kaylee, if you're new here. I make a lot of vlog style videos, kind of revolving around fashion and lifestyle. I'm also an entrepreneur, I have my own brand, and I have a new puppy, I live in Brooklyn, New York. That's kind of it, I feel like I make pretty chilled out videos. I'm not a super high energy person, and I like to watch more calming content, so I kind of try to do that too. But this morning, I am just prepping to film another video, actually. Recently, I'm trying to structure out my work days between my two jobs. One is more of a full-time job. I still end up working on it every day, but I'm trying to do all of my social media work in one or two days out of the week, um, just so I don't have to worry about it the rest of the time. And I can just post like casual Instagram stories or whatever, but it's not like a full day of making videos or content for brands or whatever I'm doing at the time. So today is a pretty YouTube heavy day. I have been pretty booked up on YouTube partnerships at least once a week, all year I think, which is kind of crazy. And I'm like pretty booked until summer as well. So thank you guys so much for watching my videos and making that really easy for me. I'm still not making money off of YouTube AdSense, so you don't see other ads in my videos. I thought I was getting that sorted. I've talked about this a couple times before, so sorry if you've already heard this spiel, but I've been making YouTube videos for over 10 years now, and I was always making money off of the ads on them until a couple years ago when my YouTube network went under, and then there's just some sort of glitch in the system that stopped me from making money off of YouTube ad revenue, which are those like random ads that you see when you're watching YouTube videos. It's not a significant portion of income, but of course everything helps. I thought I was getting it sorted a couple months ago, but there's still some sort of glitch in the system and now I can't get back in contact with the person that fixed it for me. Fixed it. Um, so that's annoying, but I feel like you guys are super understanding of me taking on sponsorships and working with brands. I feel like a lot of us are businesswomen or aspiring businesswomen on this channel. So you guys definitely get it. And I only work with brands that I use and love and think that you guys would be into as well. I just wanted to say a little thank you for that. But today I'm filming a favorites video that's gonna go up first, so I'll have it linked down below if you wanna check it out. I haven't done a favorites video in so long. I used to do them monthly, like way back in the day on YouTube. I feel like everyone did them monthly and that's when I was way more into makeup and was actually trying new stuff every month. Now I don't really do that anymore. I stick to the same favorites kind of for years. Which is really cool, but I wanted to chat about some of mine today so i'm gonna film that video and i'll catch up with you guys a bit later i just finished this green smoothie i've been getting this on caviar for the past few days ordering from the same place i just found it it's called weekends it's in williamsburg i want to say it's new because i've never seen it before and they have a really good green smoothie having some leftovers for lunch not very pretty it's truffle fries and tofu and green beans and beets the air fryer is so life-saving for leftovers like fries because I feel like most of the time they're just awful after a day, but these are actually really good. He fully insists on being on top of my chest. It's really sweet, but it's getting harder for him as he gets bigger. He has to be as close as possible. <laughs> So it's currently laundry day. I just made my bed for this background with a blanket that we have. <laughs> but if you notice, the pillows are not covered. But it's kind of in the theme of this video, just with self-care and getting my life back together and on track. But I want to talk to you guys now about the sponsor of this video, which is Billy. I feel like a lot of you guys are probably familiar with Billy. It's actually been on my to-do list to switch to Billy razors for quite a long time. And I just hadn't done it yet for some reason. But a couple months ago, they reached out and I was so excited to work with them and try out their products. So if you guys aren't already familiar with Billy, Billy is a female first body brand built on providing premium quality 
personality shaving and body care products designed uniquely for women without the pink tax so let's talk about the pink tax i think a lot of you guys are probably familiar with it already but in case you aren't the pink tax is basically the extra money that women are charged for products for no good reason products like razors are often offered to men at much lower prices and billy doesn't partake in that their products are super affordable all of their razor shipments are only nine dollars which is about half the price of competing women's brands but it's pretty in line with men's brands so here Here's a look at the razor. I just switched out the razor head and gave it a bit of a clean so it doesn't look gross for you guys. I also have been using their shave cream. This has aloe vera and sage in it. It smells really good. It's a nice subtle scent. I don't feel like it interferes with any of my other body products that I use in the shower that are scented. But I love the smell of aloe vera and sage and I find this to be really hydrating and I haven't cut myself yet. Before trying Billy, I had been using the same razor since I started shaving when I was Preteen. I don't remember what age I started shaving, but I've always been quite a hairy girl. I love that you get such a close shave with this razor. It works so much better than the other razor that I was using before. And something that's really cool is that there's more space in between the blades, so the razor doesn't get super clogged up, which is great, especially if you have thicker hair like me. The razor is also encased in charcoal, which is a great detoxifier. Overall, I think this razor is really great for sensitive skin. So like I said, the price of this razor is super affordable. It's it's only nine dollars and it comes with two blades and then whenever you need a replacement it's nine dollars for four cartridges delivered straight to your door and that's about half the price as drugstore competitors and i find that these are much better quality some other great things that billy contributes to currently are black girls code every mother counts and ywca us if you guys would like to try out a Billy razor for just $9 and free shipping, you can go to the link at the top of my description box below. And thanks again to Billy for working with me on this video. But now I need to finish up on laundry, finish up some other work for the day, and then I need to run some errands. And I think we might be taking my puppy to the park. He has been wanting to sit on our stoop and lay down all day and sunbathe. I'll insert some footage here. I like the sun, huh? Yeah. So we might be taking him to Prospect Park when we're out running our errands just so he can do some sunbathing and a bit of supervised, of course, running around since he's still such a baby. But he's almost all the way there with vaccination so we won't have to be like super, super careful anymore. Right now it's safe for him to go out as long as we are really keeping an eye on him so i'm so excited to be able to do like real dog things with him so that's kind of the plan for the day that's definitely a form of self-care getting outside and just introducing him to new things it's so much fun yeah. are you here often yeah we're here every day every day yeah Great. pretty much I just got in this really nice candle delivery from the Primary Essentials. I recently had one of their number two candles and it legitimately burned until there was absolutely nothing left. And I really love the scent of it. This one's all black and in really simple packaging. It was the best, so I wanted to get some other ones. I saw that they make the same candles in these three wick massive ceramic jars. And then I wanted to try the number four, which is Palo Santo Evergreen and Black Currant. So we just took Laszlo to the park and can hear him still playing. I didn't really get any footage because he was a bit of a handful when we were there, but he was having such a good time. But I think I'm gonna sign off for the night. My boyfriend's practicing drumming right now. You can probably hear him, but they're electric drums, so they're not super loud. Most of the noise is in his headphones. This is for everyone who thinks he's an angel all the time. <laughs> okay, that's enough. So he does the biting of the sleeve when he wants me to do something like this with him. Usually it's like fetch and tug of war, which is understandable. But that's definitely something we need to work on. Yeah, huh? You just want to play. His face when I'm about to throw it is so funny. Ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Ear, are you ready? Are you ready? I psyched you out. I psyched you out. He's too smart to actually run over there. 
Doing a bit of vlogging on my phone today. Today has been kind of hectic and crazy. I woke up and our apartment was just a mess. And my boyfriend's been working a lot lately. So I'm just with this little guy all by himself. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, he insists on sleeping on my lap even when I'm at like a desk or table, but then he gets so grumpy with me when I move make any noise and he's too big to properly fit on my lap anymore as i just showed you he really is not quite grasping his size increase especially like under our coffee table he still really likes to play under there but he's too big to play under there now although he's definitely figured out that he can get up on the credenzas and the coffee table almost our dining table now if he's standing up on his back legs his chin can be on top of it which is really scary. Um, we definitely need to work on some training for that when we eat. I think he's getting old enough where he can grasp that sort of stuff. He definitely has a bigger attention span now. But this morning, I have just been trying to plan some meals for the next week. We've been so bad at cooking at home. Pretty much since we got him, we haven't been cooking most of our meals at home. And if we were, they were just like really easy meals. And I miss cooking so much, so I wanted to plan some new meals. So I started a subscription to New York Times Cooking to look for some recipe ideas. And I saved five different ones. And I placed a Whole Foods delivery order. So that's coming later today. I'm so excited. Hopefully I will cook a yummy dinner tonight. I definitely need to get some stuff done while he's sleeping. Maybe I'll even get ready. I have a longer term partnership with Farfetch now, which is super exciting. Right now I need to answer some questions for this article that they're doing on Margiela Tabby shoes and how they fit, like how I style them and take care of them and everything. So I need to do that. And then I really need to work on editing a video and getting some packages out for my business and I have a meeting with our factory too. So just a long day. I also just saw some jewelry CAD designs that are really, really exciting. I love making jewelry so much. I am not well versed in CAD. We usually just send over sketches and like other reference images. They can be super random. Our jewelry CAD designer is really great. So they can be like pictures of like craters or something. And they do a really great job with that and it's super, collaborative and nice but after working with them for a long time i feel like we really don't have that many edits most of the time for them like they really get what we're going for which is cool so i just saw some really exciting renderings i can't wait to see a sample in person and that's kind of what's happening today my groceries have been delivered the two hour delivery windows are so convenient i'm gonna do a really quick grocery haul i haven't done one of these in a long time so i got orange juice chives, basil, sage. I'm making like this mushroom bread pudding and then I always love to have basil on hand. Got some spinach. I've never tried this before. I love the Trader Joe's frozen kind, but Trader Joe's is super inconvenient for me to go to. So I hope this is good. Got tomatoes, the vegan chicken nuggets that are Whole Foods brand, Beyond sausages, got some dairy products for some different recipes coconut yogurt. The only dairy I really eat is cheese on occasion. This is for a specific recipe. We'll see how my stomach handles it. Coffee filters, Brussels sprouts, beefsteak tomatoes, some cauliflower. I was pre-chopped. The only bad thing about grocery delivery is obviously there's so much packaging um, and I prefer to shop at the farmer's market. I'm hoping once this guy it's bigger, he can come to the farmer's market with us. Then I got leeks, scallion, cucumber, some mushrooms, some bell pepper back there, raspberries. I know Driscoll's isn't the best brand. 
asparagus, refried beans. I love this brand of granola bars. Some tomatoes for shakshuka, white beans, some lime juice, eggs, some crackers for cheese and crackers, red lentils. Then I got some potatoes and ginger root and all of the onions and garlic and shallots that I need. This is sparkling water, pretty strictly for my boyfriend, although he's kind of getting me hooked on it as well. And then beers, I'm definitely on a beer kick just to switch it up for wine every once in a while. And it's so nice with like comfort food. And then I also got some tulips.